Yo, everybody, we're back with this ocean. What the fuck up? I'm looking for a fish. Let's uh, see if I can find this fish. Oh, uh, you're filling in the encyclopedia? Yeah. I'm filling in the encyclopedia in Greece. I'm looking for fish. Here it is. Oh. It was there the entire time. Tiny little puffer fish. Is he just there? By himself? Yeah, yeah there's, there's a few of them floating around here just by this wall. It's these little ones that are sometimes just easy to miss because you kind of go around thinking like, ah, I've seen puffer fish here before. Yeah, that's, no. that's the gist no, of a lot of them. It's because, oh, you saw puffer fish, but you saw them in the Pacific. And these yeah. are different. There's some of them that's just kind of tricky like that that you go by. It's like, wait, no, I've, I've not seen that before. Yep. That's how a lot of fish look similar. Yep. It's not crazy that. There's also a lot of shine spots where you go by, like, I probably touched this before, and you're like, nope. That's why I this spot has two things in it. No. Oh. Two things I've never seen before. Like this guy. Rest of these slugs. They're cool. I did a segment about this in the first game. They're, those ones in particular are born with shells. They lose them now as they get older. Yeah. Yep. And now you got his crap. Sagita, the arrow, is a Ptolemaic constellation. Said to be the arrow shot by Heracles to kill Aquila, the eagle of Zeus that constantly ate Prometheus, his liver. Sagita can be seen from anywhere on Earth except the Antarctic Circle. It's weird that that's, that's what that is, and it's not somehow related to Sagittarius. Yeah, I know, right? As it just throws me off, it's kind of like, oh, you have two Sagittas up there? Well, that's just weird. You, like, I realize Sagittarius is literally just Archer Man, basically. Archer but. creature beast thing. He's crazy. He's not a centaur like people would commonly depict him as. He's not? No, nope, that's... I always thought he was, like, I thought he was no. always, like, one of the centaurs associated with You Hercules. are, in fact, thinking of Centaurus. Mm. The centaur. Mm. Mm. As a Sagittarius, that, that actually improves it for me. Reticulum, the reticule, was originally named Rhombus. It was named by Nicholas Louis Vendian. Named to celebrate the eyepiece of his telescope. I am not making this up. I'm fond of telescopes, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not that No, fond there's of telescopium is already a thing. Is it is it, okay, is reticulum attached to the telescope? It's the reticule. Is it attached to the telescope, the constellation, telescopium? No! I don't think so. That's, that's no okay, now that just pisses me I off. I think he was just naming it by the shape of what he thought it was. Man, that's, that's like what, some of that That's what a lot of his things are. Like Norma is just a right angle. And it's Norma, and... the right angle. Also, here's some red sea bream's that I somehow missed. Yeah, they're pretty common fish. Mm, they're th they're here. Yeah, they're just, I'm just saying in general. They are a pretty common fish. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure I've. I'm saying outside I'm pretty sure of I've the eaten game. Red sea bream before. Yeah, probably. They. This is one of the fish that usually goes under red snapper, even though it's not a snapper. Oh god, tuna. <laughs> I've eaten those too. Yeah. Let's count how many things we've eaten this update. Let's go. All right. I've eaten coins. Orologium, the pendulum clock, was created by the incredibly unimaginative Nicholas Louis de la Kyle, robbing it of any interesting story I could tell you. Is... Are there more Nikhil constellations than there are none? There are several, because he basically just went and filled in holes. So he just basically like, there's open space here, blah! Yeah, but... Why did people accept that? Because he did that, and it's, you know what else? Like, why would they, like, let, like, okay, we're going with that. You were, you called it. It's, like, all the weird shit, like, all the, the French did that shit all the time. Like, why did that time, that one time, because he they let was him get French. away with it? Because he was French. Well, no, but usually everybody else, like, the, the English would be like, come fucking on. Like, the Americans would be like, I think The Russians would just, like, be like, shit. fuck you. Tukana, the toucan, is created by Petrus Blancius. Tukana has no real story. However, it is a southern end lies the small Magellanic cloud. It is a toucan, which I It's a toucan. Of. That's just, that's the story. Toucans are neat birds. They are. They eat fruit. That's what they use their big old beaks for. What kind of fruit do you think they like? Uh, pretty much any fruit. Can I give them an apple? Maybe. They like mangoes. Hmm. I would like to see video of a uh, toucan eating a mango. Alright. That sounds like it'd be a thing that I would like to have. Boa takes the herds in his total light constellation. Contains the star Arcturus, the fourth brightest in the sky. Apparently in Babylon, it represented the god Enlil, who is represented in Greek myth is unclear, so I have an alternate fact. In Hawaii, the pattern of Boates was called Hoka'uiwa, meaning stars of the frigate bird. Oh man, they should have gone with that instead. Stars of the frigate bird. Oh man. It's like you saved that for last because he knew I'd be into it. I 
Freddy board are so good. They do that thing, that dance. Yeah, they're so just, good. There's a lot of different explanations of who that constellation is. So it's just, you know what? He's, yeah. Hey, you big old fat fuck. Don't shame. I'm not! <laughs> he is fat as fuck. Oh, yeah! He... Let's be straight there, I mean. I think he can pop himself up. That's not helping. This guy only shows up here. Oh, the out of bay? Hell. Oh. You know what's that name? I don't know. What's his deal? I don't know. Like, I tried looking it up, and I couldn't really find much. I, I don't have an answer for you. Cool he's a weirdo. Yes, he's cool though. Apparently, it's a Japanese species. Yep, that's all got, I know. They got a strong bite. Really strong. What's bite. A, what's a what's a Japanese blenny doing here? I don't know. Biting shit. That's why there's only one. <laughs> Makes sense. I just made a face to indicate that it doesn't. Good. Echelaus, the pony, is a very faint Ptolemaic constellation. There are several stories about this constellation's organ. It might be the offspring of Pegasus. It might be Solaris, the horse of Castor. It might be Athena's horse that Poseidon skewered with a trident for some reason. Who knows? I'm going with the latter one. That sounds pretty good. Skewered horse? Yeah, why not? Alright, alright. Ursa Minor, the lesser bear, is Ptolemaic constellation. Known to the Little Dipper, the end of Ursa Minor's tail is the North Star Polaris. Both Ursa constellations are associated with the story of Callisto and Arcus. However, a much older story in which Boetes depicts Arcus, Ursa Minor is Ashley's hunting dog, explaining the long tail of the bear and Polaris' obsolete name, the dog's tail. Interesting. I like these guys just hanging out here. Polaris, of course, is the dog's dog. Yeah. Dogstar is such a good phrase. Yeah. Dogstar. Oh, you finally found me! I was hiding! You thought you'd saw me, but you were wrong. Now it's time for my entrance into the story. No, oh, you've, you've already seen the dragons? Oh. Oh. Oh, well! Thanks for coming! Yep. I thought his tail was gonna clip through you for a second. Right whales are super cool. Yep. Have you? you so you're really close to the migratory path of. The uh, North Atlantic yes, right whale. but I've never seen one. Hmm, that's a shame. But there is a thing if you see one, you're supposed to report it. Has anyone ever reported it to you? Nope. Hmm. They tend to see them. They're not really, really much off of. Miami, they're more they're, they're uh, more open water, off, I realize. Yeah, and off of like Georgia and stuff. Yeah, they kind of curve around. Yeah. the other side of uh, the Bahamas, I presume. Yeah, Straits of Florida are a strange and mystical place. Yeah, right whales are cool. Yup. Did a segment about them previously. I did, and they're giant testicles. Yeah, and they're giant thingamajigs. They got the giant crusties. That's not the thing I thought of when you said thingamajig, but all right. Well, they, they got that, too, but they also got those things on their face. Yep. I'm glad that they're capable of keep on smiling, even with all that stuff on their face, on the grill. Also, the horrible things in their past. Oh, yeah. Everything's... At least it's looking better for them. Yeah. As it is for many of the larger whales. Are you going to see Thanatos? Nah, this is, this is a little to the west of Thanatos. Ah. This is where we saw... A mysterious thing that we can't tell anybody about. No. Also, this clown trigger fish found this. Hercules is Ptolemaic constellation. It, it's Hercules. What's wrong with you? Musically, compared to the other constellations about it, around it, Hercules appears upside down. It's like he's standing on his head. You know, to be fair, that's the thing that he would do. Yeah. And then he would accidentally kill his wife. Yeah. And children. And then, like, and then he'd, like, I don't know, like, eat his cousin or something. That didn't happen, but you could totally see it happening. And Kevin Sorbo would play him. Oh, man. And then, and then What's-Her-Face would throw a disc, Lucy Lawless. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. 
So many coins. Well, there's a lot of shit we've missed in Greece, apparently. Yep. Hydra, the sea serpent, is the largest constellation in the sky. In Babylonian astronomy, it was known as Mushusu and was described as a hybrid of dragon, lion, and bird. It may be associated with Hydrus, created by Petrus Plancius. Yeah. Why isn't it Hydra, the Hydra? Because the Hydra is the male water snake. The why Hydra, isn't Hydra, is, the Hydra. Hydra is the female of that. So what's Hydra? It's Hydra. It's the sea serpent. No, the other one, Hydra. Oh, the Lernian Hydra? Yeah. That's the Lernian Hydra. That's different. You know, the Hydra. That's why you have. Yeah, that's the Lernian Hydra. This guy only spawns in a couple places on the cross rift. Yeah, he does. These are neat because they, when they're going to court, they spread their fins out and just kind of make weird zigzag patterns. Oh, I got a lot to say about this one. Coma Berenices, Berenices hair, refers to the legend of Queen Berenice II of Egypt. In 243 BC, during the Third Syrian War, Ptolemy III undertook a dangerous expedition against the Seleucids, who had murdered his sister. His newly wed bride, Berenice, swore to the goddess Aphrodite to sacrifice her long blonde hair, of which she was extremely proud. If her husband would return safely. He did, so she cut her hair and placed it in the goddess's temple. But the next morning, the hair disappeared. To appease the furious king, the court astronomer announced that the offering had so pleased the goddess that she placed it in the sky. He indicated a cluster of stars that have since been called Berenice's hair. Neat. Yep. So there's a fish over here that only appears in a glowy spot occasionally, immediately under where Thanatos hangs out. Yep. So it's a really, future, future. it's a really cool, interesting fish, I'm sure. Oh yeah. Uh. Certainly not just, you know, a relative of something else we've seen previously. Also, it only shows up some of the time, so sometimes you just come over here and just get your ass beat by sharks. But that's cool. Yeah. Leave me alone. I'm not here. Yeah, you are. You're, you're poking that thing. He's having a spasm. He's freaking out. You've done fucked up. Y yeah, I know how to tell which ones were left eye. You already gave us this speech. Well, now we got it for the other one. Great! You don't actually see an adult marble flounder in this game. You only see this young one. Yep. He's a fuck. He's only here by the sharks. I'm hiding! Sh shut up, shut up, you idiot. We're gonna get eaten by sharks. Get out of here! Quit poking me, fuck! Alright, so we just found a ton of coins, so it's ton of time for a ton of coins. Yeah, get ghosts. your get your money rewards. Here is Wrath. Terrible curse. More more of a nim, but that was for the Callisto story. Whoa. But you can spend it on things. No, I can't. I'm sure you'll find something to spend it on. <laughs> you know. I'm sure I will. Believe that was for the Hercules legends. Oh. This one is just for finding Coma Baranitis. I had a great idea! Really into the Beatles suddenly. <laughs> like I, just, I just love the fucking Beatles, you know? It's like, I, mean, I, I don't know why it all of a sudden occurred to me. Like all the great hits, like Eleanor Rigby. Ah, oh, I'm gonna go listen to Rubber Soul. <laughs> it's the only Beatles album she has. <laughs> and she only got it because she thought it was something else. So yeah, this haircut is, uh... Uh... Oh, I wish Hulk retro? were here. I wish Hulk and Matt were here so much right now. <laughs> uh... That's the style of hair Charles Darwin had. <laughs> was it Charles Darwin or was it JFK? Uh, both. I believe JFK. I mean, they're, they're both JFK known. JFK was inspired by Charles Darwin. They were both known Beatles fans. Yes.
<laughs> the best beetle. The best beetle. <laughs> We all live in a yellow submarine. <laughs> well, that was the end. He just wanted me to react to the- There are tears streaming down my eyes. <laughs>